everyone welcome to today's vlog hope you're all okay yeah the boys are starting their second week of their easter break i know some kids go back to school today so if you are hope you have a good day first day back or even if you've been off work because i know some places like they have a mandatory shutdown don't they like christmas easter i remember Stephen used to work they used to have two weeks off at christmas two weeks off at easter and that's and then sometime off in the summer as well so i'm sorry will you turn that down please so you don't know it's just playing some sort of disney thing so but yeah anyway, the kids are ha actually happy they're watching toy story on disney plus i think it's toy story one or two they're watching and anyway, i know they're happy watching it because ben absolutely loves the toy story it's nice because when we went to disneyland paris last year ben got a big massive rex soft toy thing we won well, in fact he picked up himself to be honest with you and it's nice because he cuddles that every night now he really really does it's like last night he just dropped it somehow but well, when we checked on him he was asleep he must have picked up and found it yeah he's just when well, he covers it so tight that does i know that definitely means something to him as well so again he's in his element i mean because he's got his favorite duvet on his twisty duvet cuddles his rex and it's just amazing way he wraps himself up in his blank in his covers he looks so comfortable bless him sometimes you don't want to disturb him but like i said this week while he's off just let him wake up when he wants to basically and then next week getting back into his routine the school it's helping as well because obviously the clocks when the clocks changed it messes up Ben's sleeping routine so yeah like so it's nice and just to chill out relax and then hopefully by, hopefully then by next week he should be back into his normal routine of getting up getting to school and all that sort of thing so yeah like so we've got nothing planned for today nothing like that and what's going to go to like there's like a horse sanctuary place near us we were going to do that this, today but they reckon it's going to rain again so we so we might leave that now to either may half term or during the summer holidays only thing is this place is not open every day it's only open fridays saturdays sundays mondays and it's closed the rest of the week so yeah like i said we probably, even if we don't do it at the weekend like i said we'll leave it till the summer it's not going anywhere else nothing like that so but anyway, yeah, I'm going to make myself a cup of tea now. Um, I'm going to worry about putting my washing out as well, to be honest with you. It's grey and overcast, but no my luck, I pull it out and it rains. So that's the thing, it's hit and miss showers as well. So yeah, I wonder what's happened to the good old sunshine, eh? But it's what they say, April showers bring May flowers. So, but anyway, yeah, like I said, I'm going to make my cup of tea now. I need to give Ben his last sort of his medication as well. And then, yeah, then just see what happens then throughout the day. Now my wheels in motion and my windows open with the wind blowing in my head. I'm driving down the highway, gonna do this my way. I can feel it in the air. Here I go. Sam is actually watching Disney on Ice. Is this one from this year? Or is this one from a couple of years ago? Years ago. I don't think so. I think it's no, from this year. Yeah, I think it's one from when we went to last year, wasn't it? Because of Disney 100 stuff. That's the Disney 100 one. That is, isn't that? So I'm not too quite sure whether we're going to go again this year or not. I think it's all tickets um, when they go on sale. We normally go most years, but I find though it's actually the same sort of show over and over and over again. So you're paying to see the same show. So I don't know, we'll have to wait and see what they say. Yes, yeah, so Ben's happy on here, bless him. He is watching Toy Story, aren't you, sweet? He is, yeah. Is this Toy Story? Yeah. Toy Which Story. one? This, the second one. The second one. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, because it's got what's his face in it, the naughty person. I can't think of his name. Sid, isn't Is his name Sid? What? Sid. Yeah. The naughty one is, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. So anyway, because so I have a new tube up in here as well. Ben's had a bit of a biscuit. Mm -hmm. And it's come on the floor. Also, when you had the cereal, um, you like to drink the milk as well. And you have a bit of cornflakes, which is through on the floor. So I need to give that a bit of a heaver. Never know, it's having my heaver for me again, actually. He heavered last time. 
But anyway, yeah, also one thing I'll quickly show you is look at my plants in here. Obviously, this is me and Sammy, all your planted last week, week before I think it was. And obviously these ones are growing really, really well. But I can't believe how much they've shut up. Because originally um, it was only these couple of shoots and suddenly they're shooting up all over the place. I can't think we're putting here actually now to be honest with you. I think we've got courgettes, um, runner beans and also some carrots I think they are. And also we have got some outside as well which we do bring them in. Which I showed you before. So Sammy will you turn that down please? Pen, what on earth are you doing to your pyjama top? Hey. <laughs> Something you to play with, isn't it? So, tell what, should we play with your iPad in a bit? Yeah, not yesterday, day before, got some really, really lovely interactions with Ben with his iPad with the twos and things. It's like an interactive thing with animals, like the noise. And he was actually there making clear toys, was animal he wanted. So, like I said, let him watch Toy Story. Let me watch Toy Story first. Yeah? Ben, you got to wear that tonight. Well, yeah, I think it's just like the sensory thing. But yeah, like I said, he's really, really happy now. So, yeah, let you watch Toy Story. So, yeah, so I've just had a delivery come. This product has actually been gifted to me. It's working in collaboration with Super Fab, Savvy Me, and also Fabrizia. So, I'm not inside here anyway. So, yeah, so if I'll open the box and I'll show you what we've got inside. So, let's open this one up here. Let's Here and we have inside the box and inside the box here we've got like a little bathroom. We have a Febreze bathroom, fruity tropics. This are actually up to 50 days of freshness. It fights odors and um, refreshing. So yeah, that one thing there. I'll just show you a second. I'll use that in a second. And then also in here. We have a little leaf at the feeling, the feeling of just clean freshness for, for up to 50 days. It tells you um, some little information there about the product. And then obviously here, and also little things on the back as well. We can show our stylish fat way to in for Breeze bathroom. Um, Comment by bathroom textures like toilet paper. There's no things there as well. And then also, and here I actually have some little money off vouchers yeah, for the for the Febreze bathroom here. And so yeah, these are valid from the 1st of April to the 31st of May. So yeah, so these are pretty cool actually. It's going to be good actually. Um, this not too quite sure how this actually works. There you go. You flip it up and you click and it gets all the sprayers. It's all the spray. So yeah, really, really looking forward to trying this out in the bathroom down here um see what it's like especially if it gives up to 50 days as well as everyone's find the same with them like their bathroom is smelling nice fresh and clean and especially with having like boys in the house that's what you know what boys are like sometimes but yeah it's gonna be really really interesting to see what it is apparently it uses, it uses no battery and it uses no electric so it's all done through the little thing on the back so yeah um keep an eye out and see how we get on because I'll definitely let you know how it nice and smells in the bathroom. Yes, yeah, so I was just want to say a big thank you to CP Savvy Me and also to Febreze for gifting us this project and letting us work with them on this promotion. Yeah, so I have been reading a little bit more about this um, Febreze bathroom fruity topics and things like that. So yeah, so it's easy to use. You just apparently just take out the packet of a little flip thing up there. You actually flip it on and flip it off. And obviously help dispense the odours as well. But yeah, because one thing I like about it is it's got no, it uses no battery or electricity, stuff like that, especially because I know some air fresheners you can get, you plug into the wall and it uses electric or it uses batteries. And this just uses it, it simply is. And also what I like about it, it's got about 50 days of freshness. Obviously, the more times you keep the flip thing switched on, obviously the longer it, longer it lasts, but yeah. And then also it leaves behind a nice little scent as well, which is going to be really, really good. And obviously it does come in a wide range of um, fragrances as well. There is like a bluey one, but I've tried to the Fruity Tropics, I thought that would give a nice smell. So yeah, so we do need to get the bathroom down to a bit for clean tomorrow. So I'm going to give that a clean and then obviously put this, I'll put this on tomorrow and show you how to work it and stuff as well. Um, yeah, so it's going to be nice. It's going to be really nice to have a nice, fresh, clean 
bath and yeah so like I said I can't wait to, to use this one yeah, so I don't want to film too much of the telly just in case I get a copyright um, pen because I know it's WWE really. But anyway, we've just been spending the afternoon watching WrestleMania. And it's been pretty good, isn't it? Darling, it's been really, really good. There's been a couple of surprises. I was sort of about some things I didn't expect to change, but like I said, we're not going to do those spoilers yet just in case anybody who hasn't watched it yet. So yeah, so we're just on the triple threat match, Logan Paul versus Kevin Owens um, versus Randy Orton. So yeah, um, I really, really enjoyed it. So we've got Becky and Ilo's, no, not Becky, we've got Ilo's, what's the name, Ilo's guy? Oh, E.S. Guy and Bailey. Um, so obviously, you know, Sky's quite on the line. Then we've got the um, Raymond Reigns and Cody Rhodes match to go, and that's the main you've done there. So, yeah, really, really happy with that. This is really, really good. So, Sammy, be careful, darling. Be careful with your cup. Ben's happy down here as well. So, yeah, he's happy playing these lights. But, yeah, also, apparently, we're supposed to get in, not here, but in America, they've got some sort of eclipse. And, um, I think it's, is it a solar eclipse or is it a full eclipse? Partial eclipse. I don't know, but some, they're supposed to be getting some sort of eclipse in America. And apparently, if it's stage dry and clear here, we might be able to see about 7 o'clock. So that'd be quite interesting to see if we can see it. If we can, I might see if I can vlog it. Like I said, I can't remember the last time we had an eclipse here. I remember it felt strange though, because everything went all dark, all the birds went in and stuff like that. So yeah, it'd be good if I can. There we go, it's over here. For those who live in the checks on my phone, for those who live in Europe, you'll not be able to see a full eclipse at this at this time. Well then we'll like it till 2026. However, for people living in the island of the UK, a partial eclipse may be, may, may be visible on Monday evening if the weather's strange clear. So hopefully, fingers crossed we can get to see the eclipse a bit later on here and keep an eye on it. Like the apparently it's about, about half six, seven o'clock time, so who knows if we can or not, but yeah. Quite in, it'd be quite interesting to see if we can, we're quite interesting film as well. So, yeah, fingers crossed we can get to see the partial eclipse. Yes, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to get to see the partial eclipse because you can it's gone all grey and whole. Well, plus, it's obviously happening now when the sun's setting and stuff like that. So, it would be nice to see it. But I think, I think they said we've got one 2026, a full solar eclipse here in the UK. So, yeah, we'll, look, so we'll, start, we'll, we'll, we'll keep looking out and see if we can see it. but. Again, not holding out much hope whatsoever, to be honest with you. Well, an SG fam, that brings Monday's video to an end. And yep, yeah, WrestleMania is complete. We have watched it. Shell's not happy. I, I, won't, I won't ruin it for anybody that has not seen it yet, but it was the best WrestleMania for such a long time. Apart from two matches. <laughs> Yeah, I won't ruin it or spoil anything for anybody, yeah, but it was absolutely brilliant and uh, it just makes you feel like a kid again watching it again. So yeah, I give Triple H credit, you know, if, if he can push a new era then, you know, so be it. Anyway, yeah, so barring that, that's all we've done today. So as always, like the video, comment down below, subscribe button. See you next one. Bye everybody.